So, Tom, I want you to explain your competition that you set up. One of the things that, we, that I do in my like, real job is uh, we hire mechanical technicians and machinists and uh, other technical folks. So we're always looking for good ways to evaluate these people kind of quickly, right? Because we can't put them to work and watch them work, and that's usually the best, right? So what we want to do is interview them and have a kind of a, a quick process for sorting folks, right? And uh, so this is kind of a fallout of that a little bit. And what we did was I had some pins, and the pins vary in diameter by one thousandth of an inch, and I had a pile of them, and none of them are the same. And we used this kind of old school tool. This is kind of like grandpa's calipers here, right? Um, and this is how they used to measure measure diameters on the lathe. They would fish them with a pair of calipers, compare it to a scale, or, or use a telescoping gauge uh, between the points and then uh, and a micrometer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's interesting because it's um, it relies on your sense of feel. Right to differentiate the, between the different diameters in the, that we have here, right? But also, what was exciting, you did head-to-head -head competition. You set oh, up right. two of these. That's true, and we did head-to-head so -head on this one. So a little uh, more stress. A little more stress instead of timing it and then uh, weighing the time versus the accuracy, which gets complicated. Uh, we just went head-to-head, -head, so we identified you know clear advancement from from that. So it was heat. It was heat races. So using these by feel, you're going to grade these from smallest to largest or largest to smallest. So this may be T to be in order. Okay. So accuracy is what's important. Whoever completes it first and is correct advances. Okay. That makes sense. Now you can pick up a pin, one pin each, to set your calipers, kind of get ready to go, and kind of get the feel going. All right. So we can compare the others. Are you guys ready? Ready. Go. All right. Begin. Accuracy counts. Are you ready? Ready? Are you ready? Okay. Go. Okay. Ready to go? Okay. Begin. You gotta be in order and you gotta be correct. So what counts is uh, accuracy, right? You gotta get the order correct. If you don't get the order correct, doesn't matter how fast you are. I'll <laughs> call her out when you're done. Uh, your final answers? I think you're done? Okay. Keep going, all right? Because uh, if you screwed up, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> all right, let's get a pair of calipers. We'll actually measure them. Which is your smallest? Which is your smallest? Get it over with. 
Yes, please make it be over, right? I hold my hand up, grab four pins, and sword. You ready? Oh, this old Tony and I met through the comment section. He's an amazing guy. Um, are in the process of our second project, the first project was the double dust. He said to me, let's work on something. He said, if you have ideas and I have the ability to make it, so give me some ideas. I'll give you a couple of ideas first so you can come up with the double dust. And now we're talking about it. And I said, no, we're trying to sell it. We need to have a lawyer for anyone. You done? Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's a little fast, man. All right. This is small. This is small. Yeah. 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 Where's Jeff Perry? I bet you it's him. Okay, so you got it. Good job, man. Good job. All right, good luck. We still get the second prize. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to have a lot of trucks here. We're going to have a lot of trucks here. We're going to have a lot of trucks here. That's awesome. But everybody is in a really lot of trucks here. Yeah, you're in a row, yeah. All right, congratulations. Okay, so we got some prizes, but I think the sponsors want to do a, a little, they want to film and all that stuff, okay? So don't hang out. All right, good job. Yeah, thanks for playing, man. That was good. It actually went pretty fast. And we ended up at the end, and uh, uh, Peter Francisco won again. This is this guy's a ringer. Watch out for him. He won last year, too. I don't know what's going on here. And uh, But anyway, he did great, and he was super fast. So he was number one? He was number one. And then we had Steven uh, Michalski, and uh, he got second place. And there's some prizes for both of you. All industrial. Oh, thanks. Give the mic. This is a sponsor of the Bash here for what three years now, right? Something yeah, like three years. Three years. Thank you very much, Jeff. And uh, what we got is we have, a, and I don't know where the thing yeah, is. Um, Stan must have it hidden somewhere. Um, we have a uh, shopping spree with All Industrial for five hundred dollars. Okay, that's first place for Peter. So everybody, give him a round of applause. Thank you. Right. And, then, uh, and then we have. Uh, um, we have Steven here, and he got second place, and we have some prizes up in the, near the lathe up there uh, from Noga and uh, Edge Performance and some of our other uh, our sponsors and some small tools and some, some nice stuff. So we'll go up and take a look at that. So. Now, Steven had an interesting technique, so he would do a rough sort. And I was watching you, okay? So uh, I get paid to watch people, by the way. So yeah. <laughs> uh, He did a rough sort, and then he, he did a skim. He did this really fast skim, and then he would reorder them, and then he would skim again. It was kind of interesting, uh, but uh, he, so, made it, he made it into the final round with uh, with that technique. So, uh, you guys, congratulations, congratulations, gentlemen. Good job. Congratulations. And, uh, and you're thanks welcome. to All Industrial for the shopping spray. Thank this you. is pretty awesome. Thank you.
Do we have a timer? You lost the best. <laughs>